Hey everybody, it's your boy, Sad Boy, back at it with another video for you all. So I just want to tell you guys right now, my album, The Path to Enlightenment, is officially out. It's on all platforms. You can go ahead and stream it now. So go check out the link and uh, listen to The Path to Enlightenment and let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys all enjoy it. So this is my second instrumental album and it's got a bit of a concept to it. It's kind of like a concept album. And uh, hopefully it'll be my last like beat tape kind of album where it's all instrumentals. And hopefully uh, in the future going forward, I will be having uh, music with my vocals, my singing, my screaming, all that kind of stuff going on on there. But uh, we got a little bit of a story to this one. So I'm going to kind of break that down for you guys right now. And typically my music has always had that kind of uh, film score or video gamey kind of vibe to it. You know, like a lot of people listen to my beats or whatever when I'm making them and friends and stuff. And like, wow, this sounds like it belongs in a video game or whatever. So I kind of decided to lean into that idea for this album. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do right now is break down all the tracks on the album and kind of go over that. So track one is called Storm the Castle, and it's kind of, you know, an, an intro to the whole album. You're starting off as some kind of knight or commander, and, you know, you're storming the castle. There's a castle full of evil, and you gotta, you know, fight the boss and defeat the evil and all that kind of thing. So it's kind of got that uplifting energy to it, you know, storming into a castle. Now, track two, you're going to fight the uh, little warlock guard. There's like kind of wizard warlock kind of thing going on. You fight him, defeat him. And uh, you end up gaining magical powers as a result of that, right? And then we go into track three, and that's where you're going to fight this whole, like, mini-boss kind of situation. And, uh, yeah, uh, you're fighting the mini-boss, and something, even though you win the fight or whatever, defeat the evil, there, there's something a little bit off. And it turns out, in track four, Mangekyo, uh, you realize that your, your bestie, homie, second-in-command, you know, the person who is like your sibling, whether it's brother, sister, whatever. I'm trying to stay gender neutral in this. But, uh, you know, you find out that your second in command person, your, your, your comrade in arms, uh, again, like a sibling to you, has been evil the whole time. They betrayed you and they've been going against you this whole time and kind of helping out the evil side. Right. So uh, you kind of have to uh, fight them. And the battle's like gut wrenching, you know, like you're against uh, you're, you're someone who, who you've considered a comrade for so long. And uh, it's gut-wrenching, but it also strengthens you and your resolve. And you're able to come out of it a much stronger person, even though you're feeling torn on the inside, right? But in the meantime, there's still the whole storming the castle thing going on, right? So, track five, you are exploring the castle, exploring the dungeons and all that. And you find the coffin, and you open up the coffin or whatever, and bam, there it is. There's Dracula. It's Dracula's coffin. You know, there's this ancient evil that has been pulling the strings the whole time, controlling everything, sending out the warlock, you know, and uh, and twisted your comrade towards the evil and all that. And so you now realize, like, oh, this is my final boss. This is who I got to beat. This is who you end up fighting. And then track six, right now, right now is the time. You got to defeat that evil. You got to beat that final boss. And that's kind of the energy there. And then in track seven, you've now defeated the Dracula. You know, you've destroyed the coffin, defeated the evil. And there's still a whole castle there. So you're kind of exploring it. And, uh, you know, you're exploring these dungeons. And you're also trying to find a way to escape because the castle is crumbling. You know, like you've defeated the evil. Final boss is uh, done. And the castle is crumbling. And you're trying to explore the dungeons and find a way out to escape all of this. And that takes us then to now track eight. And it's actually a mysterious kind of night. It's very mysterious and you're exploring and you're trying to uh, get on the sit on the seas and sail based on the things you found inside that castle, that crumbling castle, you know, ideas of like, oh, there's some magical place or there's some hidden treasure kind of thing. And so you're very filled with mystery and wonder, and you're setting out to go explore, right? Trap nine is Atlantis, and you are basically on this whole odyssey, right? You're, you're out here to, uh, you're on your way to an Atlantis-like land on your odyssey, and you're kind of like uh, exploring and sailing and trying to find uh, whatever this hidden treasure or this strange land might be. And track 10 
is where it kind of flips up where it's like on your way you actually have not succeeded before you can succeed you find yourself at the river sticks you you are at the uh, death's doorstep and you are in the underworld and a river sticks is honestly my favorite song off the whole album it was my favorite beat to make it was uh very fun and inspiring and i just love the en energy of it and in my opinion it to to this moment right now is probably one of the best songs i've ever made in my personal opinion i love it that's why I like little the the track name itself stands out differently from the rest of the whole album it's just my favorite of the whole album and then track 11 you you realize oh shit i'm dead i'm in the underworld right and so you're kind of having this, you're meandering through the forever midnight of the underworld. That's where that midnight meandering is coming in from. You're kind of just, uh, you know, like, what do I do? What happened? Where do I go from here? And that's where, like, that sad piano energy comes in on that one. Track 12 is that as you're doing your midnight meandering through the, the whole underworld, you meet an old wizard. And this old wizard in the underworld is full of sorrows uh, for all the things he's done and the fact that he mentored that warlock that you had fought much, much earlier. You know, uh, he's full of sorrows and full of regrets, and he's just a sad old wizard in the underworld, you know? <laughs> and then track 13 is it throughout his time in this underworld and all that, he's kind of come up with some crazy ideas, trying to understand the universe, even in his world of the underworld. And he understands this concept of like space time and he has some wild ideas and he thinks he might be able to actually help you out with your whole solution about the fact that you were pretty much in the middle of your journey after you stormed a castle and now you're at the river sticks in the underworld, you know, you know midnight meandering through the forever underworld. Right. Uh, so he has a wild idea of space time, which might help him have you the get a solution for your problem and you know that'll give him a sense of redemption for what he's done and a sense of gratitude for the fact that you stopped the warlock who was doing all those evil things right using you you kind of find this giant iron giant thing this big metal golem and you are able to use and repair it and and it seems like oh there there might actually be hope for this whole journey and you know maybe this is going somewhere right and so then uh you kind of take that little iron giant or little that, that big iron giant and you kind of continue up with your journey and that leads us to track 15 where you're at coral reef you kind of have made it out of the underworld back into the world of living back to the surface back to the overworld and you are at the coral reefs of this atlantis land and uh, yeah so then you go to track 16 where now you have actually made it to this Atlantis land and you uh, you see it and you're and it's called Arcade Sorrows for a reason, right? Because you make it to this Atlantis land and it's all technological. It's wow. very uh, technologically advanced, very capable. And it's nothing like you have seen as someone who's stormed a castle and gained magical powers. So you must coalesce the sorrows of your past and the journey you've been on and being betrayed by your friend and going to the river sticks in the underworld and having died and come back, you know, and you must uh, coalesce this with the strangeness of this futuristic digital land that you are now finding yourself uh, thrown directly into. And then lastly, we get to the end of the album, track 17, the journeys end and so what's going on here is now finally like you know you're a new man new person in a new land and you can consider that your journey is over as you kind of begin anew with your new life kind of leaving behind the past and beginning something new so that's the whole story and concept of the album the path to enlightenment i hope you all enjoyed both this video of me breaking it down and the album as a whole and we're able to have a great time listening to it and uh really enjoyed the music on there leave a comment below let me know which one was your favorite what you liked again for me my favorite will still be track 10 river sticks that's hands down the most fun for me to make and uh listen to back over as i listen to the album and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and the album look forward to more music coming out soon i've got things in the works and uh hopefully we'll have some uh, singing and screaming like I'm, I'm trying to step away from just doing these instrumentals and really 
uh, expand on the artistry and like really have stuff where I'm actually making the music on there and doing the vocals and all that kind of stuff. So look forward to all that. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and checking out the album. The link will be definitely down below in the description on the screen somewhere. It'll pop up. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. Have a wonderful time. It's been your boy, Sad Boy. Catch you all on the flip.